Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, as I said on my Instagram, um, I have some laryngitis going on. Um, today is actually December 1st, Wednesday, December 1st. I started losing my voice just this last Saturday, so four days ago, and no, Sunday. And then on Monday, I completely <laughs> lost my voice. Um, I was telling Megan, one of my friends on Instagram, <laughs> that there was a intubation that I was a part of at work in the ER and there was a student nurse there with me as we were trying to put the tube in and I had zero voice <laughs> and I, the intubation was so difficult because usually like I'm a respiratory therapist we do a lot of the code and in intubation we tell people what to do and like the tube to put down and bagging and suctioning all the stuff anyway the student nurse kept handing me a pediatric bag for this adult patient I was like whisper yelling at her it was so difficult um and if you guys listen to me a lot or if you met me in real life you <laughs> probably know that that's very frustrating for me because I have a very like my voice is on the low side and it carries extremely well people constantly shush me my whole life um so for me to not have like a commanding voice is very frustrating for me so this is like me yelling right now um I was sick, as you guys know, the last, that last Hayden Rowe video I did, I was sick and I had like this really crazy like sinus thing going on. I slept with like tissue paper in my nose and all this stuff. Um, I felt really sick then. I actually, yesterday I felt really sick also. I'm feeling a tiny bit better today, but still like really run down. I've been tested for multiple things. I have no idea what this is, um, but here we are <laughs> so I don't have a fever or anything today um I'm not used to not having a voice like I said so it's kind of weird um people recently have re have been asking me what I'm wearing on my lips so today I'm wearing Revlon cream lipstick in mink and because that one's a pretty cool toned brown I really like it but um just to kind of brighten it up a little bit I put um NYX Butter gloss in, uh, I think this one's Angel Food Cake. Yeah, Angel Food Cake that's a little more pink, just over the top. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm wearing. Everyone always asks. So um, I have my, like a little bit of emergency in my Starbucks cup here, just because my throat gets like really dry really fast right now. And my hair is down, so you know I'm gonna play with it a bajillion times because I'm not a hair down kind of person. <laughs> So anyways, I'm so excited as usual, but I'm super excited for this haul. This is from The Bathing Garden. I have not ordered from her in a very long time for multiple reasons. Um, I do have issues with throw from her, or I have had in the past, but some of the more recent things that I've melted from her, I've actually gotten pretty good throw from, um, things that people have sent me, but also, I think it truly just like a lot of vendors it depends on the oil like if I'm melting a laundry or like a floral no matter what vendor you get that from it's going to smell much stronger than like a bakery um like when I lost my sense of smell a couple weeks ago I couldn't smell any bakery but if I held up a laundry scent it's clear as day you know um bakery is just to me on the usually the lower end of throw kind of thing so anyways, I was excited to order from her. Um, I had gotten a couple, did I get a couple Halloween things or I wanted to, but then I decided to kind of wait and I did some winter things. This should be all, I haven't even opened it, but this should be all three of my orders. The first order I did was over a month ago. Um, she is in Idaho. I think it's pretty Northern Idaho though. And I live in Utah. So once she shipped it, it came pretty quickly. But she does specify on her website that the tat is long, like it can be pretty long. So I think she's like a one woman show. So it just, you know, takes longer to get everything fulfilled and done. So not like I don't have enough wax to melt while this is coming. So wrapped really well, pretty sticker, good bubble wrap, pretty tissue paper. Oh yeah. So she does give the invoice here. Um, I think, let's see. So yeah, the scrub, hopefully, so this only has two orders on it, so hopefully this is all three of them, <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay, uh, so I have never, ever gotten one of these goodie bags of samples. 
Um, but that is because my orders from her have always been quite small. I mean like five clams or something or one jumbo clam. So that makes sense that I only get like one or two samples. So I'm really excited to share these samples with you. Oh, I will say, even though I'm sick and I sound like this, my sense of smell is totally fine right now. So absolutely fine. Um, so I am so excited to have this sample bag in his eggs. Okay, I'll just, the biggest sample here. Oh, he's adorable. Gingerbread, caramel, and pear. I love her um, labels, except that they don't have any notes on them, but that's okay. Let me just pull him out. I love, like I know that her stuff makes a mess in melters. I don't care. I just love, she doesn't just do glitter. It's like so interactive and fun. This definitely smells like, it says gingerbread, caramel, and pear. To me, this just smells like a really molasses-y gingerbread cookie. I actually really like that. The pear makes that caramel like not as, like it, it brightens it a little bit, so it's not as heavy. I like that a lot. Uh, the next one here is Rockefeller Lights and these really pretty like holly melts. I'll probably have to use both of them for one melt. Ooh. It's like berries. It almost smells lipsticky. Like smoke and berries, maybe something like that. Uh, this next one's like one of those little heart cakes in frozen hearts. Ooh, so a mint. This is kind of smells. It smells like there's a couple mints in it. Like there's a nose clearing peppermint, but then there's also like a sweeter peppermint or something mixed with it. Really nice. That's like a perfect size to melt in Brianna's room when she goes to sleep or Rosalind's room. Uh, Brianna's melter is that bigger, brighter, lit up one that I've shown on Instagram before. It doesn't take as much wax. Uh, Rosie's has, it has one of the big hot plate uh, melters. So hers takes a little bit more wax. Um, this is Harley Loves Joker. I think I've heard people talk about this one. And it's just a, a rose or a rose, a heart with different uh, sequins. Ooh, what is that? It's like a bakery coconut scent. So that smells really good. I almost feel like there's like sandalwood or something in it too. That is not one I can melt a lot because it's that coconut that I think smells a little bit sweaty. <laughs> but I do like it. Like it would be fun to have like a clamshell in or something. <coughs> This next one is pink sugar pie crust. And oh, look at that shape. Adorable little like pie crust. Sorry, the glare. Oh, that is very strong. That that pink sugar oil smells legit like pink sugar. I wear um, probably like once every other month at Walmart. I grab a bottle of pink sugar. They're $15.99. <laughs> um, I use it like crazy. Part It's not my favorite perfume. I like it a lot, but every day that I wear it, people are like, oh, Danny's here and it smells so good. I get so many compliments wearing pink sugar. So I'm very familiar with what it smells like. This smells exactly like pink sugar. I have never had something that smells so strong and just, just like pink sugar. That's crazy. I don't really get pie crust, but I really like that. Next one is seven layer cake in one of these little bunts. Smells like yellow cake, maybe coconut, maybe almond. I like that. The almond in here does not smell cherry-like. I get like legit almond, which I, I love almond scents. I don't like when it's cherry almond, unless every once in a while I smell someone's cherry almond scent that smells like the like original Jergens hand like lotion. And I really like that scent, um, but I don't like like bakery cherry almond. This is Love and Madness in a really cute heart shape with lots of different glitter and sequins again. Floral, like, also kind of lipsticky. Hmm, not the biggest fan of that one. This one is Love Orange. Oh, look how cute that heart is. Oh my goodness, I love that. Ooh, I like that a lot. I'm not even a fan of orange scents. What is in that? Huh. The orange in this is very legit, like you're cutting into an orange. Then it's almost mixed with candy or something. Uh, that's really nice. Not one I would need a ton of, but I really like that. 
Midnight Cinnamon Rolls. And let me get this little cinnamon roll out because he's cute. And I love the various like size of glitters. Like the difference and variety here makes such a difference in how things look. Oh. Oh my gosh. I know why this is called Midnight Cinnamon Rolls. That it's red hot cinnamon and there is something like a touch of patchouli. It's very similar to that oil that I really like um, from Vintage Chic, but not quite. This is more red hot cinnamon. Mm, I like that. <laughs> I like red hot cinnamon. Not all the time. But. This next one is Passion Fruit Kisses. Oh, this is so pretty. This just is so summery. Look at that. This, I, I smell passion fruit. Let me put it back in here. I wonder if these are like preparing for like a Valentine's Day or something. It's not very strong, this one. All the other ones have been quite strong on cold. This one kind of smells like passion fruit candy from what I can gather. And the last sample, oh, it's a sugar scrub, what? In Yeti Nog. And it's the little like um, a bottle snowman from like the classic Christmas movies that I watched growing up. Oh, oh, that smells so good. I love eggnog scents. Oh, I'm so excited to have this. Um, one of my orders is, so I said like this, I think this is three orders combined, but I'm not sure. Um, is just the order was just one scrub. So I actually have a scrub to share with you. Um, so anyways, that's all the samples. I think this is the scrub. Yes. So... I think there, yeah, there's smaller scrubs and larger scrubs. I think this is the smaller scrub. Look at my hand, boys. Um, yeah, this is the four ounce Elf Morning Blend Coffee Butter Scrub. So if you look at, she does a ton of body care. If you look at her scrubs, it's not just the scents that are different. She has a lot of different formulas too. Um, I have to be careful. I can't remember. Let me see what's in this one. Um... I don't think so. I think I looked pretty close. If there is one that is coconut oil heavy, I have to be very careful where I use it on my body. I can only use that on like my elbows and like lower legs and feet. Um, if I use that anywhere else, my body will break out like really bad. It's not like an allergy. <coughs> it's more like um, I have really, I've talked about it before, I have really oily skin. So anything that is occlusive, um, like even too much glycerin sometimes if it's too occlusive or makes too much of a layer on my skin I will break out not just my if it's on my face so that's it's over um but even on my body so anyways this one um the body coffee butter sugar scrub seemed the the ingredient seemed okay look how pretty this is just like a Christmas dream um so I can't remember the scent notes for this one I think it was supposed to be like a it almost smells like a peppermint um, hot cocoa mocha kind of thing, which I'm usually not like a fan of, but I just thought a small, like it reminds me of Christmas. The only time I like chocolate mint stuff is very specifically Christmas and that is it. And that's why I got the small one. But I, because mint chocolate just reminds me of Christmas. I just have to show you this really close up if you can even see. Look at the candy canes. There's a... You know, there's like little tiny Christmas trees. There's hollies. Mm, it smells so good. I'm excited to have that one. Um, okay, so this is sugar is the first. So it's a sugar scrub. Coffee butter, which I'm not exactly sure. Like, I've never had that before. Um, let me just see. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Oh, it has urea in it, so that's, that's really good. Like uh, jojoba, jojoba oil is usually okay on my skin. So anyways, I will update on Instagram how I like this one and how my skin reacts. Um, I know not a lot of people have my skin type. Um, so the things that um, work for my skin and the things that I suggest for skin um, are only for very specific people. So I will let you guys know. Okay, on to the order. See, I have a feeling, I'm recording this on my phone, but I have a feeling this is not, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one of my other orders is six things. And my other one I think was more than that. So I have a feeling this is not all three orders. Let me see. Two, three, four, five, 
I, yeah, this is not all three orders, so I will have another order um, later. This is actually only two of my orders. So I guess we'll see. So this was just my body scrub and then my very first order. So this isn't gonna be very long. Um, I think my, my other wax order, it actually had more items than this, just um, not as large, because I have two jumbo clams in this one. The other one, I don't think has any jumbo clams. So anyways, I'm gonna show you this beautiful one first. This is Frosty Mittens. And I like never wanna chop these up. I've, see, I've had one of these before and I see them, obviously. Beautiful little decor on it. I'm trying not to pull off as I pull it out. Look at that. So pretty, that light pink. Mm. This is definitely like a sweet, soft peppermint. There's a musk in here too. Maybe a sugar cookie. There's a sweet, soft peppermint, but it's like a touch tingly to my nose too. Oh, this is so, so just like precious. I love that. Yeah, this one is Frosty Mittens. That's a perfect name for that. I'm trying to put it in there without taking that holly decor off. I'll want it for our picture later. Okay, um, the next one, I'm gonna show the clams because you know I don't have very much here now. This is Claws Manor. I should have written down the scent descriptions, I'm sorry. Um, so pretty. Oh, look at that color, and the gingerbread. And there's little like dried flower petals. I think this one is a coffee blend. Um, like a, this is like a spiced, almost caramelly coffee blend. At the time, um, I don't usually like caramel coffee blends, but I was really wanting more coffee. So yeah, this definitely smells like a, like a cinnamon spiced, sweetened coffee blend, so. Smells really good, really beautiful. Claws Manor, like that might be what it smells like in the morning when they're making coffee. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> the next one is Elf Sweat. Oh, look, I love this. I almost got a jumbo clam of this one because it has fizzy in it and I'm obsessed with fizzy. I am all year round obsessed with fizzy. Mm, this almost smells like fresh. Like lemon lime fizzy with like a touch of like spice like ribbon candy or something I know that sounds weird but this could definitely be like a fresh holiday scent I like that a lot it smells like almost like a lemon lime fizzy but like like I said like slightly spiced candy to where it smells holiday-ish it's kind of weird it's hard to explain unless you smell that one this one I got because you guys all know that I love earthy, like deep, spicy scents. And this one seemed like it was going to be that way. Um, it's called Vetiver Bells. I've never smelled it before. Oh, seriously. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. I see. I almost got a jumbo clam in this one too and I didn't. Oh my goodness. This is like, it is like deep, dark, not dark, but deep woods. Like you're in the deepest part of the forest. Very like rugged trees in rocky terrain. That's very cold. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that so much, so, so much. Okay, and then um, I have never smelled this one before, but the notes sounded really good and like I could maybe melt it the rest of the year. Um, so I have two jumbo tarts now. Um, this is winter jammies. So this is like a laundry peppermint and something else blend. Oh, it is clothespins. Oh, I'm so happy. If you guys follow me, you know that's my favorite laundry scent. Oh, that is clothespins. It's so good. Let me pull one of these out. So if you've never had a jumbo clam of hers, the, the little um, cubes come out by themselves. And this is, I think it's about one ounce. Oh, oh, it's so good. 
Um, I'll show you. Look at that snowflake. Is it going to focus? Close up. It's like wood almost with like a Christmas floral design on it. Ugh, this is like clothespins with like the tiniest touch of peppermint. And like the tiniest touch of lavender, I think. But it's like 95% clothespins. Mmm. Yeah, that's definitely, you can melt that all year round. That is beautiful. I'm so happy it's clothespins. She didn't say that on the website. It just said, I think, fresh laundry or something. But that, well, that's a new favorite. And then, honestly, I bought this next one because it's just so dang cute. Um, I don't even remember what the notes are. Um, but I also think I remember that a lot of other people liked it, but also that it could be something that was melted all year. This is Cindy Lou Who. I just freaking love hot pink wax even though it stains my warmer so badly every time oh little beads are going everywhere I don't care see if I can hold these up without these falling out look how pretty mm, it's like a musky mm, like a musky pink sugar let me take one of these out look how pretty I like where does she get those little like pearlized beaded snowflakes I don't understand yeah, this is like a powdery, musky, pink sugar blend. Like, definitely smells kind of like what you'd imagine. Like, almost has baby powder and pink sugar with vanilla musk. It's almost what you could imagine, like a baby girl's nursery to smell like, kind of. Um, so I could definitely melt that also all year long. So, anyways, that's it. Um, I will have to do... A small little video when my second one comes I think I mean obviously this is almost 22 minutes now like all the samples made it quite a bit longer and gave me more time to talk about it but I'm pretty sure that my next one is like nine cents so um, if I also get samples there that'll be probably long enough for a video so anyways I'm really excited to get to melting some of this stuff and using the body scrub because like I said I haven't had a lot of the bathing garden in the past um, I, there's a couple scents that I really, really, really love of hers. Um, she has a great lavender oil and, um, how is it? Salty Siren. It's like the really super fizzy, uh, limey margarita scent in the summer. I think that's what it's called or Salty Mermaid. That one is literally the best margarita scent ever. Um, and she has, there's like an inclement weather party, something like that, that I really like. Um, I don't know. I can't, I, I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but, um, I know that in my next order, there's one that Morrison Blue was talking a lot about. Um, and I actually, it's, it's a perfume dupe from Joe Malone. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, is it dark pomegranate? No, pomegranate noir. I've actually worn that perfume before. I've had samples of it, but never purchased it. And after she talked about it so much in her video, I almost went and got a jumbo clam, but I think I just got a regular clam. So that's in my next order. Um, I'm really excited to get that one. Um, anyways, I will make another video when that comes. Um, I hope you guys are well and that you're enjoying the Christmas season. Talk to you later.